Now we will take a look at our AccuBoom settings. Simply press the box labeled Booms to come into your AccuBoom control setup screen. First you'll see the Turn On Look Ahead section. What this is, is your AccuBoom will actually look ahead of where you are actually spraying to start turning on at a certain point. A good place to start is 0.5 seconds. That means my AccuBoom will look one half second in front of where I'm spraying and begin to turn on before I come into a non-applied area. If you have zero entered there, your AccuBoom will not start to turn on your boom valves until you have already reached the unapplied area. Next we have our turn off look ahead. What that means is my AccuBoom will look a certain number of seconds ahead of where I am spraying to know when to turn off. So as I come into an already applied area, it will look ahead a certain number of seconds to see when it needs to turn off. To set this, simply press the box, hit the double arrows to clear, and 0.5 seconds is also a good starting point for this off look ahead. That means 0.5 seconds before I get to an already applied area, my AccuBoom will begin to turn off so that I do not over apply. The next setting is the turn off percentage. What this means is the percentage of my section that must be in an already applied area before AccuBoom will shut it off. Simply press the box, Hit your double arrows to clear. You never want to set your turn off percentage at 100% as this will never shut off your AccuBoom system. A good starting point is 90%, meaning 90% of that section must be in an already applied area before AccuBoom will shut it off. This setting is for the AccuBoom override pop-up. When I come to an area that I've already applied, I can activate my AccuBoom override this is the amount of seconds that it will override AccuBoom and continue to spray. Simply press the box, hit your double arrows to clear it out, and enter 5 seconds. For this to work, you must have the check mark so that you can enable the override pop-up. Otherwise, this will not be available. Once you have those settings, simply hit the next icon. You will come into your AccuBoom control setup screen. This has your number of sections listed. All sections with a check mark are the ones that will be controlled by AccuBoom. If they are not check marked, your AccuBoom will not control them. For example, if section number two had no check mark and I was spraying with AccuBoom, my AccuBoom would turn on and off for sections one, three, four, and five. Section number two would continue to spray until it was turned off with the yellow master switch. Please make sure when using AccuBoom that all sections are checked if you would like them to be controlled by AccuBoom. Once you are done with this, you may hit OK to return to your home screen. Next we will take a look at our AutoBoom. To come into the AutoBoom screen, simply press the AutoBoom box at the bottom of your screen. This is your main AutoBoom screen. This is where you would come to enable AutoBoom before your job. You would simply check mark on and OK and that will enable your auto boom. Sometimes you will need to recalibrate your auto boom. This is also the screen where you would come to do that. To calibrate your auto boom, turn your auto boom on and press your calibrate icon. Once you do that, it will lead you through a step-by-step -step process to calibrate your auto boom. Then when done, to return to the home screen, simply press OK.